See, I haven't done it in the city yet. So it's doing 44, 45 is the max. And what are you doing? Now it's telling you you gotta grab the steering wheel. You gotta grab the steering wheel and show some resistance, just any kind of movement. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what happens if you don't. Uh, it'll stop, it'll s slow down and start. What do you think? Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> Not in love with it. Don't hate it. So, so far, I've only used the uh, the autopilot on the highway. I haven't used it on city streets. Oh, that's a nice view. guys I am in Mexico <laughs> and uh, you know I almost didn't make it almost didn't make it uh, when I told the guy I was just coming into town actually he asked me what I was doing I said I think I'm gonna do some shopping he sent me to this little room off to the side where I sat on a group W bench with six other folks in this little like prison almost it felt prisony and uh, they took the people one at a time. And uh, uh, when, <laughs> when it finally got to be my turn, I guess I was probably in there about 20 minutes. By the time it got to be my time, the guy took my driver's license and my passport card and set me down at his desk. And he says, uh, where are you going? And I said, just into town. And he said, thank you. And uh, gave my stuff back and told me to leave. Go figure. All right, guys, as always, there'll be more. Okay. <laughs> I'm in Mexico. This is the first intersection that I've had to cross. And if you'll notice, there are no traffic lights. There is one, two, three, four, five lanes of traffic converging here and not one light guiding it. There is a police officer over there, but I guess he's on break. And what he's done is he's closed off, uh, I think that's the bridge to uh, America right there so he's put a little rope across it which is backed up all those folks interesting to say the least all right guys as always there'll be more after this well all right guys i'm here in tijuana and this from my memory, it used to be bustling with uh, bizarre stuff. You know, people would come from tables and selling goods and merchandise. And you see what I see. It is void. Void of any activity. This is Saturday. Saturday. Oh, it is almost hot. And I'm the only one here, guys. Well, nope, other than him. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Nice. All right. Hey, as always, there'll be more after this. All right, guys. Getting ready to head out of uh, Tijuana. I'm going to say it was a bust. I couldn't find anything to buy. Well, almost. <laughs> I, I couldn't leave without spending a little bit of money, so got a shot of wild turkey. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm headed back. I'm gonna meet up with Marcus. We're supposed to go to dinner at 6:30. It's a little after five now. I think I'm going to be late. 
but we'll get over it. He's gonna text me an address. Uh, I'm not gonna call him until I get over the border to make sure that I'm not uh, doing any kind of international uh, service plan on this phone. So, as always, there'll be more. All right, guys, listen, I have made it to the border, but this is the line, and I think I'm near the end. There's a whole bunch of folks ahead of me. Looks like uh, I asked the police officer, and he said it's probably about an hour, hour and a half to get back into America. Amazing. This is crazy. Now watch, when we get to the front of the line, there's gonna be two guys processing all of these people. This is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh my goodness, what a line. I've never stood in a line this long. This long. Oh my goodness, here's the end. All right. We are there. All right, guys. This is what we're into. I think I better call Marcus and let him know. I am not going to make it for dinner. <laughs> that is all. There'll be more after this. All right, guys. Um, it is... 42 minutes later, that's not bad at all. And I am through the gates and on my way back home. Yes, indeed, hold on, let's see. I can't turn this around, but I can do this. And I can show you the gates that I just came through. And, uh, wow. What up? Wow, could have been a lot longer, but it wasn't. So I'm a happy camper. End up in this building. I think I'm gonna follow that. I think there's a little better. We'll see what happens. But uh, this looks like it's the last checkpoint before we get into the United States. So uh, I'm not back there anymore. <laughs> I'm right here. As always, there'll be more. After this. To capture your future at Mott Community College.